Yeah, and the booster. Starship on nominal hey guys, trajectory. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking news. up right now. <laughs> It's it's pretty much right over ahead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the liftoff. Uh, and so once again, um, a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... Hey guys, we should just be about 30 seconds away from the landing burn. It's going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 <laughs> engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. <laughs> We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Thank you. Booster, any current shutdown? Megadilla has popped the booster. Starship nominal orbit insertion. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there. A gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, ship the ship. Saved. And it is now in, in the orbit that we expected it to. This is just an incredible day. Live views there as the booster vents some pressures there. That is a live view from the top of the tower <laughs> looking at the chopsticks. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I'm trying to catch my tears, just like the chopsticks caught the booster. <laughs> it has been nonstop <laughs> since liftoff. <laughs> and we are all so excited about everything that's been happening so far this morning. With the booster having completed its job for today, we are going to take a short break. For the next 30 minutes, we'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast before re-entry. 
Oh, man. And <laughs> as with previous flights, Starlink may actually enable us to talk with the ship through reentry with no communication blackout. We, of course, are still testing Starlink during this phase of flight, so nothing is certain. But if we do have views, we'll be sure to bring those to you live. Views or no views, we'll see you back here at T plus 40 minutes for coverage of Starship's re-entry, flip maneuver, landing burn, and splashdown.